a very good morning to everyone i hope everyone is studying hard doing e learning as your test 3 is is coming so for this test 3 we are going to start with our last chapter that is light have you ever entered a dark room or visited a park at night are you able to see anything no you won't be able to see anything because there is no source of light so in this chapter we are going to study what exactly light is about the sources of light and different types of mirrors and lenses but before we move ahead in your class 6th you must have studied about the sources of light about which are classified as luminous and non luminous bodies objects like sun stars etc that emit light are called as luminous body most of the objects like table chair which human body do not emit light do we emit no so such object are known as non luminous body so the bodies which emit light are called luminous and the bodies which does not emit light are known as non luminous body but what exactly this light is light is a form of energy and it and energy is the ability or capacity to do some work so light is a form of energy it always travels in a straight line means jab bhi light travel karegi to hamesha straight line mein travel karegi to prove this there are number of examples in our daily life to observe the beam of light which comes out from a car you will see it is always travels in a straight line in a same way If you see your shadows, it will also suggest that the light is traveling in a straight line. Similarly, when a beam of light enters a dark room where there is no light and a gap is there in the curtains, we always see that the light is coming in a form of straight line, which shows that light always travel in a straight line. And this property of light traveling in a straight line. is called as rectilinear propagation of light mean jab bhi light ek straight line mein travel karti hai to is property ko hum light ki kehte hain rectilinear propagation which means it is traveling in a straight line now we will observe an activity to observe the path of a light what we will do we will take a chart paper and we will roll it in the form of a path and then we will try to look at a candle as shown in a figure which is kept at a table now we will bend the pipe from the middle and repeat the same thing to see the candle what we will observe we will observe that we are not able to see the candle which shows that light travels in a straight line and does not bend when the pipe is bent so we are not able to see when we are bending the chart paper we are able to see the light when it is straight which is which is suggesting us that light always travels in a straight line now we know that light always travels in a straight line now comes our next topic that is reflection of light we know that light is traveling in a straight line but what will happen when light falls on a polish or a shiny surface the rays of the light change their direction or path when they fall on the shiny steel plate or a spoon or a mirror so this phenomena when light falls in an object to kya hota hai some of the light is absorbed and the rest is bounced back so this phenomena of bouncing back of the light from the surface of an object is called reflection of light so reflection of light is defined as the bouncing back of light as the ball is thrown on the wall it bounces back in the same way that is known as reflection of light in which the light is bouncing back from the surface of an object some of it is observed and the rest is bounced back but it depends upon the nature of the object through which it passes for example the still surface of the water and the oil polished furniture shiny metal surfaces and polished surfaces are smooth and can turn back the ray of light in the same medium thus acting as a mirror our next topic is laws of reflection of light 
but before we understand the laws of reflection of light we should understand the meaning of the incident ray and the reflected ray from the ray diagram given here you can see the ray of light that falls on the surface of the plane mirror is called as incident ray जो लाइट रे यहाँ पर प्लेन मिरर के ऊपर पड़ रही है मींस इंसिडेंट हो रही है उस रे को हम इंसिडेंट रे बोलते हैं और रिफ्लेक्टेड रे वो रे होती है जो प्लेन सरफेस के ऊपर पड़ने के बाद रिफ्लेक्ट बैक होती है या बाउंस बैक होती है तो उस लाइट को हम रिफ्लेक्टेड रे बोलते हैं अब आप बीच में एक नॉर्मल देख रहे हो पोपेंडिकुलर की तरह बिटवीन द इंसिडेंट रे एंड द रिफ्लेक्टेड रे and the angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and the normal is known as angle of incidence and one more angle you can see that is the angle of reflection so the angle of reflection is the angle which is formed between the normal and the reflected ray jo angle incident ray aur normal ke beech mein banta hai use hum angle of incidence kehte hain aur jo angle normal aur reflected ray ke beech mein marta hai उसे हम एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन बोलते हैं सो so, इन्हीं के बेसिस पर दो लॉज हैं रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट स्टेट्स दैट द इंसिडेंट रे द नॉर्मल एंड द रिफ्लेक्टेड रे ऑल लाई ऑन द सेम प्लेन मींस ये जो इंसिडेंट रे होती है नॉर्मल होता है और रिफ्लेक्टेड रे होती है तीनों एक तेन सर्फिस पर लाई करते हैं ये फर्स्ट लॉ होता है एंड द सेकेंड लॉ से दैट angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection so what does the second law says jo hamara angle of incidence hoga suppose it is 60 degree so angle of reflection will also be equal to the 60 degree this is the second law now we will study about the real images and the virtual images what does it mean but before i explain real and virtual images we should know what exactly images are images can be defined as the appearance or picture of a real object formed by the light that passes through a lens or is reflected from a mirror means jo light ray pass hokar aati hai lens ke through ya fir mirror ke through uska jo appearance banta hai use hum kya bolte hain image bolte hain aur ye do type ki hoti hai real and virtual aur jab ye ray of light रिफ्लेक्ट होकर फ्रॉम द स्मूथ सर्फेस से आती हैं और किसी पॉइंट पर एक्चुअली मिलती हैं ऑन द स्क्रीन जो अब इमेज बनती है उस इमेज को हम रियल इमेज कह दें मीन्स वेन द ले द रेज ऑफ लाइट आर रिफ्लेक्टेड फ्रॉम द स्मूथ सर्फेस इन सच अ वे दैट दे एक्चुअली मीट एट सम पॉइंट ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी इन द फिगर द रेज आर कमिंग एंड दे आर मीटिंग एट सम पॉइंट then the image so formed is called as a real image ye image screen par ban sakti hain they are always inverted you can see jo image ban rahi hai yahan par tree par kya tree ki wo kya hai inverted ban rahi hai its size may be same small or big or the same size as the object now we come to the virtual image virtual image kya hota hai when the rays of light are reflected from a smooth surface इन सच अ वे दैट दे अपीयर टू मीट एट अ सर्टन पॉइंट यहाँ फिगर में से भी देख सकते हैं यहाँ पर रेज जो आ रही हैं हमें अपीयर हो रही हैं कि वो एक पॉइंट पर मिल रही हैं पर एक्चुअली ऐसा नहीं हो रहा है तो दे डू नॉट मीट ऑन अ स्क्रीन तो जो इमेज इनकी वजह से बनती है दैट इमेज इज नोन एज वर्चुअल इमेज नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट इट्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इट कैन नॉट बी ऑप्टेन्ड ऑन अ स्क्रीन सो वर्चुअल इमेज कैन नॉट बी ऑप्टेन्ड ऑन अ स्क्रीन दे आर ऑलवेज इरेक्ट सीधी होती हैं इट्स साइज में भी सेम स्मॉलर बिगर देन द साइज ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट सो दीज आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ वर्चुअल इमेज नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द मिरर्स बेसिकली दे आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ मिरर कॉन्केव मिरर एंड कॉन्वेक्स मिरर बट वॉट एग्जैक्टली अ मिरर इज बिफोर वी स्टडी अबाउट द कॉन्वेक्स एंड द कॉन्केव मिरर वी शुड नो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ मिरर any smooth or polished surface which can reflect a ray of light is called a mirror jo bhi smooth ya fir polished surface hota hai jisse ray of light reflect ho sakti hai ya fir bounce back hoti hai use bolte hain that is called a mirror when the reflecting surface plane hota hai it is called as a plane mirror 
जब ये मिरर क्या होता है स्फेरिकल होता है या फिर उसमें कोई कर्व होता है तो उसे हम स्फेरिकल मिरर कहते हैं स्फेरिकल मिरर दो टाइप के होते हैं जो मैंने आपको अभी बताया था स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द टॉपिक कॉनकेव मिरर एंड कॉन्वेक्स मिरर कॉनकेव मिरर्स आर द मिरर्स हुज रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फिस इज कर्व इन वर्ड मीन्स जो उसका रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फिस होगा वो कहाँ से कर्व होगा इन होगा और कॉन्वेक्स मिरर्स का जस्ट अपोजिट होता है हुज रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फिस इज कर्व्ड आउटवर्ड मीन्स कॉन्वे केव मिरर में जो रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फिस होगा वो इनवर्ट की तरफ कर्व होगा और कॉन्वेक्स मिरर में जो रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फिस होगा वो कर्व्ड आउटवर्ड होगा ओके नाउ वी विल स्टडी द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इमेज इन प्लेन मिरर फॉर दिस वी विल ऑब्जर्व द नेचर ऑफ द इमेज फॉर्म बाय अ प्लेन मिरर थ्रू एन एक्टिविटी what we will do we will take a looking glass and place an object such as a candle in front of it or a match box now we will observe similar object is placed behind the mirror now what we will do we will change the position of the object and observe the images form graphic carefully put a vertical string or a chart paper behind the mirror and try to get some images out of it Now place the same screen in front of the mirror and see whether you are able to get the image of the object or not. The image formed by the plane mirror cannot be taken on the screen because जो images बनती हैं plane mirror में वो virtual होती हैं and I told you virtual images cannot be obtained on a screen. The image formed by a plane mirror is erect. जब हमने properties पढ़ी थी virtual image की मैंने बताया था जो इमेज बनेगी वो क्या होगी इरेक्ट होगी सीधी होगी एंड इमेज फॉर्म बाय प्लेन मिरर जो होती हैं वो सेम साइज या फिर स्मॉलर या बिगर भी हो सकती हैं दैट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट वन मोर एक्टिविटी वी विल स्टडी टू ऑब्जर्व दैट इमेज फॉर्म बाय अ प्लेन मिरर इज इंटरचेंजिंग साइज व्हाट वी विल डू वील सैंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ अ लुकिंग ग्लास एंड ऑब्जर्व आर इमेज Also observe the distance between you and your image from the mirror. Means अगर टू मीटर में यहाँ पर खड़ी हो रही हूँ तो मुझे मिरर में कितना दिखेंगी Now raise your left hand and note which hand does you see when you raise it. Touch your right ear with your left hand and observe your image जब आप टच करेंगे Write the name for example Amit on a piece of paper and you interchange the साइड and what you happens you will see. Amit written as T I M A and T I M A will appear as Amit. Images formed by a plane mirror interchanges the side. Means that is on a plane mirror, left side appears as to be right side. This interchanging of side between the object and the image is called as lateral inversion. The lateral inversion क्या होता है? जिसमें हमें left side right appear होती है और right side left appear होती है.